Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for a painting video. Today I'm going to be painting this beautiful autumn landscape using acrylic paint. Uh, if you are a long-term subscriber to my channel, you're probably used to seeing a lot of watercolor tutorials because that's all I painted with for the last year. But lately uh, I've been exploring a little bit more with acrylic paint and I'm really loving the opacity and the intensity of uh, the colors in acrylic paint. It's definitely a little bit of a learning curve when you're used to painting in watercolor, but uh, if you also want to give acrylics a go, you don't really need much more than dollar store quality. That's honestly what I'm using in this video, so don't, uh, don't get too caught up on uh, not having the proper supplies. Um, just dollar store quality acrylic paint is just fine. Fine. <laughs> But I'm painting this autumn scene. Uh, it's starting to quickly get uh, pretty chilly here in Canada when I'm filming this tutorial. When you see this video, it'll likely be very cold and there will probably already be snow on the ground where I live. But um, for now it is still, it's almost uh, autumn and uh, the weather is definitely changing. I'm hoping that I can harvest some things, some more things from my garden, some more vegetables before the first frost comes. Um, I have a few potatoes that I planted a little bit late in the season, so I'm hoping that the frost holds out a little bit for them to uh, fully grow. I also have about 25 leeks that I planted back in May. Uh, so. We really love our leeks. We make a lot of leek soup in the winter time and they're quite expensive when you want to buy them in a grocery store. They're about five dollars for a bunch of three, um, which is quite a lot in my opinion. Um, so it's nice that we'll have our own. We'll be able to cut them up and freeze them so that we have enough to last us the winter. Um, and finally, I have some tomatoes growing in my garden as well. Um, those are basically basically going to keep going until the first frost so again i'm hoping that frost just holds out for a few more weeks so i can eat some more tomatoes for lunch <laughs> do you guys have a garden or do you have any favorite vegetables uh, that you harvest from your garden i would love to know so just comment below but uh, going along with the autumn season trend there are a lot of really fun um, traditions, I suppose, that my partner and I have, and that's one of my favorite aspects of our relationship. Uh, and one of those traditions um, is apple picking and applesauce making in the autumn season. So this is going to be our third year, I believe, uh, third year picking wild apples um, and then making organic applesauce and this is wonderful for two reasons um, one it's very inexpensive because we pick wild apples and two because they are apple uh, wild apples there is no pesticide used or any you know harsh and harmful chemicals so there it's it's organic applesauce and it's delicious and um, I mean, with that comes a lot of work because they are filled with worms, so we spend a lot of time peeling them and cutting out the worms um, before we make the actual applesauce, but that is an activity that both of us really enjoy doing together. It's, it's a really uh, quite a bonding experience when you spend six hours in a kitchen doing one task together. Um, to ultimately create something really tasty and healthy that you can later enjoy together. So we do it quite a few times in the autumn because it would be way too much work to do it all at once um, and we also don't have enough mason jars but we probably harvest apples three times in the autumn and then do the whole process three times. It's quite simple, it's just very time-consuming. Um, and all that goes into our applesauce is uh, 
the apples themselves, cinnamon, and maybe a couple tablespoons of water, but that's about it. And it's tasty, it's delicious, pesticide free, organic, and super healthy. And the rewarding feeling that we get after you know making and canning um, the applesauce is 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 it's just wonderful. Um, and the applesauce, if you use mason jars, can last in a fridge for years. Not that they last that long for us because my partner probably eats an entire mason jar's worth of applesauce a day. So for us, um, it only lasts maybe a month or two, depending on how many jars we can. Do you guys have any fun traditions in the autumn season, let me know. I, I love hearing other people's uh, traditions, especially if they're kind of all about canning and preserving and, and homesteading. That is very much my type of thing. The other thing that I started doing last year is uh, canning and, well, making my own pumpkin puree. And again, it's super easy. You just Get yourself a pie pumpkin, cut it in half, put a little bit of salt and uh, olive oil or any type of oil on the inside of the pumpkin, flip the two halves on a pan, roast it in the oven, and then um, just blend it, and scoop it out and blend it after it's uh, ready from the oven, and you've got yourself some pumpkin puree. And it can be used for dinner recipes, but I, I mainly use the pumpkin puree for vegan cheesecakes and pumpkin pillow cookies and all of the other delicious and cozy treats that I like to make when it gets a little bit colder here in Canada. Um, you know, I sometimes I think that I should start a cooking channel because I love baking. Um, I bake a lot, a lot of treats. That's kind of my specialty. Uh, so perhaps I'll share some recipes uh, in the future because I have a lot of them. Speaking of traditions, since we're along, along that topic, um, the other tradition we have, and this is going to be our fourth year doing it, uh, is making gingerbread houses from scratch. So we make the dough and everything and cut out all the pieces and every single year we try to make it more elaborate um, than the year before and perhaps closer to Christmas I'll make a video um, painting a gingerbread house or something like that and I'll include some pictures from our years of making gingerbread houses. Anyways, that is about uh, it for this Sketchbook Sunday episode. I'm just finishing up the painting here by adding a few lily pads and other details in the water. I hope you enjoyed this painting. I hope you enjoyed the chat topics. Um, it was quite a process of painting this. Uh, it didn't look that great in the beginning, but I'm really content with how it turned out. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, uh, like the video, and check out some of my previous uploads.